What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Maths Guy. Today we are going to be looking at the distributive law. So first of all, let's just think about the word distributive, because it's a bit of a horrible word really. We can think of distributive like distribute, or to share out. So what is the distributive property then? So we can look at a question like this first example, 14 times 6. And if we couldn't work out 14 times 6, and we didn't have time to do the written method, what we could do is we could distribute the numbers differently. And we could say that 14 is made up of a 10 and made up of a 4. And if I then multiply those individual numbers still by my 6, I can see I get 10 times 6 is 60 and 4 times 6 is 24. And then with my answer, if I simply add this up, 0 and 4 is 4, and 6 and 2 is 8. And therefore, I can get the answer 84. So this can become a very easy method of working out questions mentally. For example, if we have the question 432 times 5, the second example, 432 times 5 is obviously a difficult question to answer, but if I work out quickly what 400 times 5 is, then look at my 30 times 5, and then my 2 times 5, I can do those numbers quite easily in my head. 400 times 5 is 2,000, 30 times 5 is 150, and 2 times 5 is 10. And now these numbers are quite easy to add up in my head. I can just add the 2,000, the 150 and the 10 to get an answer of 2,160. But that's not all that the distributive property is good for. It's also very good for these second two questions, of which this is meant to say 4 of course. So if we look at this first one first of all, 4 times 7 plus 5. I could work this out in the traditional way using the order of operations and understanding that I need to solve the question inside the bracket first. So 7 plus 5 is 12 and then 4 times 12. And 4 times 12 is 48. Or I can use my new distributive property and I can understand that in order to do this I can distribute the 4 and multiply it by the 7. So 4 times 7 is 28 and 4 times 5 is 20. Add these two together gives me a total of 48 and what you'll notice is it's the same answer in both of those. So the distributive property can be very useful for helping you understand and solve these expressions. Let's have a look at our last one and again, we can use the order of operations and understand we have to solve the, the bracket first. 5 multiplied by 9. 5 9s are 45. Or I can use my distributive property and realize that I must first multiply my 5 times 3, which is 15. And then I can multiply 5 times 6 equals 30 plus the two together equals 45. And again, same answer. So you can see how the distributive property can be very useful for helping to see the answer to expressions, especially when those expressions can get quite difficult. So there we have it. That is the distributive property within multiplication. Very useful for helping us with mental maths, but also to work out expressions. So what should we remember? Distributive is just a nice way of saying to distribute or to share out, or move things around differently. Distributed property means to distribute or move the numbers around differently. And we can use this to help with mental maths and solve expressions easily. There we go guys, hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has, think about giving me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'm gonna see you in another video. We are doing daily videos like this to help you with all your maths needs. But for now, peace out.